only if we're stuck. Okay. Admin random. Black coffee, thanks. No sugar. Sweet enough as it is. A mobile phone? Yeah. Well, they have one for the glaciers, but it's only for work. I can't remember the number. Oh, it's in the kitchen. I saw it plugged into its charging cradle. to use the unlock feature. Yeah, I've been round to Doug and Eleanor's and they're very worried. I feel sorry for them. Said. I think I was popping out to get something, ran out of something, had to grab something. I sometimes drive too fast. If you want, you can arrest me for that. Drive. I thought it made me sound suspicious. It's not a normal thing to do, to drive to the other end of the country. I just, I wanted to keep it simple. I know it was stupid not to tell you everything. Saying I spent the night in Glasgow when my husband went missing, I thought it would, you know, distract you from what was important. It's different now. There he is. Glasgow. It's like I told you before, I drove. I took the car and drove. I don't have my own car, but I have a spare set of keys. I just drove north. I wanted to think for some space between me and them. Everything I told you before is true. I stopped at Glasgow. I was tired, exhausted. I pulled out and I hit a car. My car was okay, but I was worried about the baby, so I went to A&E to get the okay. Everything was fine. Slept in the car. When I woke, I tried to call Hannah from a payphone. She wasn't answering. And then I decided to drive back. I had decided that she was more important to me than Simon. in the house all of Friday night. After the argument, after Sam left, I left too. I was upset and I wanted to get away. So I took the car. I got in the car and I drove. I just kept driving north, just kept going, just wanted to get as far away as I could. When I finally stopped, I was all the way up in Glasgow. 
I was so tired. I just had to sleep. The next day, Saturday, I slept for a few hours in the car. And when I woke up, I came straight back. Uh, Simon wasn't returning my calls and I wanted to try and make up. I got back to the house and Simon wasn't there. And I. <laughs> Is there a bin? Chris. Yeah, I pulled over and slept in the car. This was just by the side of the road. I was exhausted. I was living in the attic. It was a very hard time. I was depressed, was still pretty sick of the STD. When I came down one morning, they were dead. They were in bed and both had been sick, they'd thrown up a lot. And I just let through it. Police said it was mushrooms they ate. Dad was a mushroom expert. He used to take us picking with him and he taught us how to recognize them. Oh. There's no way you would have picked dead caps. But the police believed that's what happened. Oh. They never even looked in the attic. Okay, no, I was wrong, wasn't I? She's lying. They said it was food poisoning. There was something in the food they ate, my dad liked to pick mushrooms, grow them too. They said it was the mushrooms. It was hard to believe. Death caps. They have a skirt around the cap. My dad taught me that. But, I mean, the police had no reason to think it was suspicious. They lived alone. And no one had any reason to hurt them. So that brought the sister back. Okay. Um. No, I'm okay. Buttons. No. I mean, yes, we have arguments, but he never runs off. 
He always comes back. We make up. It's always that way. Yes. He left after the argument. It was about eight o'clock. Okay, uh, I just want to check something a minute. Um, oh, bloody hell, admin unlock. Yeah, that's great. Um, hang on. Now I can do 15 commands instead of 5. Oh, apparently I hadn't even done this one. Okay. I parked up in the street. It was busy, so I had to park down the end of the road. Oh, sorry. Walked up, knocked on the door, no answer. I took my keys out of my bag and unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. You can tell because the key doesn't turn when you try to turn it to the left. I walked in. Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes in the shoe rack. I shouted out. Um, I walked straight into the kitchen because he usually sits in there to have a cup of tea and read his paper. But he wasn't there. I touched the kettle. It was cold. I looked quickly in the living room. Nothing. So I walked upstairs to the bedroom and he wasn't there. I didn't search for him because it was pretty clear he wasn't there. I had a shower. The phone rang whilst I was in the shower. I didn't answer it. I think it was Eric. Then I was just exhausted. So I lay down on the bed and I fell asleep, though I didn't mean to. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised to see no one in the bed next to me. And then I remembered where I was and what had happened. That's when Eric called again. This time I spoke to him. Then I called Doug and Eleanor. And then I decided to come and see you. Done enough? There we go. <sighs> okay. Um, I parked up on the street. It was busy, so I parked down the end of the road. I walked up to the house, I knocked on the door, no answer. I took my keys out of my bag, unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. I could tell because the key wouldn't turn when I tried to turn it to the left. I walked in, Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes on the shoe rack. Um, I shouted out for him. I walked straight into the kitchen. He usually sits in there to have a cup of tea and read his paper. He wasn't there. I touched the kettle, mm -hmm, That's cool. Cold. Same um, story. I looked quickly into the living room, nothing. I walked upstairs to the bedroom, he wasn't there. I didn't search for him because it was pretty clear he wasn't there. And then I had a shower. Whilst I was in the shower, the phone rang. I think it was Eric, his boss. I didn't answer it. Then I came out and I was just exhausted. So I lay down on the bed and I fell asleep, but I didn't mean to. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised to see no one in the bed next to me. And then I remembered where I was and what had happened. That's when Eric called again. I spoke to him. Then I called Simon's parents. And then I decided to come and see you. That enough? So she made a mistake because she didn't know that she'd already been asked that question. This is a nice of them. This is where you take people when it's time to arrest them. Arrest. Can I leave? Are you going to arrest me? No. They'd laugh you out of the building. A lawyer would make mincemeat of you. Yes. 
No lawyer. What are you going to arrest me for? Can you arrest someone who doesn't exist? Yes, I understand my rights. No, I don't need a lawyer. Thanks. Please find Simon. I love him so much. I'm not sure what I'm looking for at this point, but... Sort of in for a penny, in for a pound. No, he was as shy as me. I asked, well, I asked a friend to ask him out for me. We had our first date at the Odeon in North End. We went to see Risky Business. I had on my one best dress. Simon paid, he bought me a whisper, and I was worried about getting chocolate on my teeth. I got a job to contribute, you know. Doug knew someone and I got a job as a dinner lady at the primary school. They said it didn't matter if I could cook or not, just don't poison the kids. So you see, it's always been complicated between me and Simon. It's never just been the two of us, there's always been pressure. No. I mean, he was... Everyone loves Simon. He was so... nice to everyone. He loves me. Really? the rest. I think it was that time, the first time, at the house, in his bed, 
that I got pregnant. Amazing, right? This fucking magic spell. And they say lightning doesn't strike twice. I didn't tell him. I missed three periods. I have pity on regular periods anyway, but three? I had always thought we were infertile. Both of us. I didn't tell him. I just waited. Hannah and I were meeting for our birthday and I told her because I thought she would be happy for us both. I think she was. Yes, I am muted. Thank you very much. Sorry, I, I muted myself for the song and forgot to unmute. Hello, how are you, by the way? Uh, so I was going to say, uh, I got around 50% of the clips and somebody sent a message to me and I closed this down and it said, hey, now you can search for 15 at a time and you can press the random button, uh, like so. Uh, but I, 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 I think I've basically got most of the story now. But, uh, oh, hang on. I guess I can do that, yeah. Didn't even consider A long time. We got married when I was 17. These are just going to be set up at this point. Okay, I, I was ordering them painstakingly, but that, after a while that started taking fucking ages. Uh, so I stopped doing that. Childhood sweethearts. Are you my detective? I want a definitive confession. Suicide? No. I mean, he would never do anything like that. He is not the kind of person to do anything like that. I mean, to hurt himself? No. This is probably the best game to be accidentally muted because obviously I'm... There's just a lot of these clips anyway. Um... <laughs> Those are the ones we're after. He saw me singing one of my shows. Pure chance. Not sure I remember what he was even doing there. Afterwards, I had a drink at the bar and he came over and we got talking. I knew who he was. Obviously I knew who he was. But he didn't know who I was. He was fascinated by the likeness. He guessed my name from my tattoo. <laughs> Told me it was a palindrome, like that would impress me. I enjoyed talking Oh yeah, Eva and palindrome, uh, Hannah were palindromes. It was course, amazing yeah. to be able to sit and interact and talk to him after all this time. He didn't tell me he was married. I'm not sure what he was thinking. He later told me it was like he was dreaming. A waking dream. Hmm. You know what the game gave me the word palindrome, I ignored it. Beautiful people died, always felt like it was a sign. You remember Princess Grace? Grace Kelly? She died in a car crash the year before we met Simon. We used a Ouija board to speak to her, and that gave us the power to find him. That's what we thought then. That people who died tragically leave some kind of magic behind. We used to share dreams. We used to wake up and write them down in our diaries immediately and compare them. Um, uh, hang on. Uh, princess again. Ouija. Magic. Magic is the one I'm interested in. I'm not need to look at these anymore, there's too many. But, um... 
I've looked up diary. I don't think I looked up diaries. Maybe I did. Alright, let's look up. Oh, yeah, that's how we got the rest of the song. Nothing for biscuits. Hmm. 1984 it was an awful year in the end. We were living at Doug and Eleanor's. I lost the baby at the end of spring and my parents died in the summer. It was a hot summer, a heat wave. So when they discovered the bodies, it was just awful. Because of the circumstances, them dying together like that, they brought in a lot of police, a forensic entomologist. I had to look that up. It was because of the heat. It was just So I, uh, I already knew about the parents. I actually thought she was the killer until the mushrooms, and I was like, no, it's the other sister, okay. It's all that matters, really, the baby. Simon's dead, but the baby, that's how he will live on. Our baby. Okay. years back. It was a present to myself. I shouldn't even be drinking coffee with the baby. It's been hard trying to give it up. I think they say you can have one cup. <laughs> then she told me she wanted to help more. She said I should move in with her. She would come clean with Simon about me. I was family. I couldn't have a baby in a bedsit. I told her I didn't want to tell Simon. Told her to wait for the time being. interested in Eric. Hannah had a miscarriage. This was late in the pregnancy and it left her infertile. Felt like the universe had corrected its course. You were aligned again. But Hannah and Simon were still living with his parents. They were married. Simon had a job at the Glaciers now. Eric had given him a full-time position after he left school. And then... Hmm. Fair enough. Um... What was I going to say? Yeah, obviously I'm playing this because uh, they've released that third game and they're all available on Game Pass. Uh, although I don't quite have Game Pass uh, at the moment, I'm going to get it again in a week or so. Sure. Yes, of course, if that would help. Will you phone the house to let me know when you want to come round? Then I can make sure that I'm there. wasn't in the house. I like that you can tell which one it is by which one's talking sometimes. But by, by the way she talks even. I think when I drove back it was about eight or something. And I got back to the house about three. Then will the police let me back in the house? And they let me take a bag of clothes with me, but... Yes, it was a cremation for the best. We both wore black and had bail, so it was easy. And after the funeral, everyone came back to the house. 
Hans served up sandwiches and I stayed out of sight. Really? I... Yeah. I've begun to bed feeling ill. Thinking it was flu or something. The neighbour called me, I had to use my key to let them in. We found them dead in their bed. And they'd been there for days, no one had noticed. Just awful. It was so soon after my miscarriage. The worst year of my life. I'd been so happy to get married and after that it was just like, fuck. Rehearsed? You ask me the same question, you'll get the same answer. Is that your evidence? Of course I thought about what happened then. It's all I've thought about. My husband is dead. Yeah, I have noticed they keep asking her the same questions when they suspect that there was two of them. Yes. Um, I got to Glasgow, I was exhausted, so I pulled over. Oh, I did. What's that one? Must not have added it. No, I don't think so. Hmm. Glasgow was deserted that early in the morning. That should eliminate me as a suspect. If I was in Glasgow, can't be in two places at once. Ah, but the watch? I don't see how it's hard. We've established I was in Glasgow when he was killed. We've spoken with the hospital. I told her it was one of my boyfriends, someone I had met in the bar. I think she was happy, but I could tell she was thinking, why couldn't it happen to her and Simon? They were the ones with the real life. Why not them? Oops, not that one. Not drugs. I mean, he drinks, but never very much. He goes to the pub and has one or two. Sometimes we go together. He drinks wine with food, but nah, he doesn't have any kind of drinking problem. No. I'm not sure what strange would be, but he hasn't been acting odd. He's been busy at work, but... Nothing too stressful. Well, she has a knife. Uh, um, she's been cooking, I guess. She's been cooking him his favourite meal. Um, she's his wife. Um, he's asleep and she doesn't want to wake him because he's ill. That's why she's sad. Because he's ill and he might die. It's kind of a sad story, so I'm not sure how it ends. 
a weird Rorschach test at a session. Um, hmm. Hannah was so smitten with Simon. She started getting jealous, didn't want to share. Even the first date, we went to see Tom Cruise at the old Odeon. We both went, kept changing places in the toilet. We only had one best dress, so we had to keep swapping clothes. Must have thought we had terrible bladder problems. The next date, it was my turn. Um, at the end, I let him kiss me, but that was it. We didn't want another card on our hands, and the Ouija board had said to hold back. After that, it was Hannah's turn, and she slept with him. Broke the rules. Deliberately broke the rules. She wanted to be the first to sleep with him. <laughs> I mean... That's when she got pregnant, from that one time. Carl, well, so that would have been when the shotgun, Carl, uh, wedding happened. Can you imagine? I tried. I tried to get pregnant too, but it didn't happen. Okay, yeah, we know about this. I slept with so many boys, men. My body refused. I think my period stopped because hers had. I was pretty ill. I mean, how could we stay the same now? I felt like Hannah had really fucked things up. Set us down separate paths. We had become different. Uh, different paths ill. Meant to do some of those before. Different. Oh, no, that's not how you spell that. Oh, there's loads. Um, path. No. What was the one I wanted before that? I wish I did this before. Because I can just use this to go back. Okay. Um, she's being chased. Um, they're trying to catch her because she did something bad. I guess she broke the rules. Or... Maybe they think she did something bad. Maybe it wasn't her fault. She looks scared, not guilty. Maybe it was mistaken identity. Did they catch her I don't know. That's not how you spell that, but whatever. It lasted about six months. I tried to carry on, but everything was different. Hannah insisted I not pretend to be her around Simon, let alone sleep with him. We didn't share him like the others. The rules had changed. Me living in the attic had become weird in a way it hadn't been before. Was he my first? No need to be so coy. <laughs> no, he wasn't my first. That would have been Carl. He was a local boy in a band. He was a bit of a shit. But he was sexy. <sighs> we were 15. These are weirdly detailed police interviews. No. I was 15, Carl was older. 
17, I think. I was really into him, regardless of how he actually behaved. Lots of drunken teenage sex. We did it in a church once. It's stupid. So he got tired of us and we split up after about six months. It was sad, but those early experiences, they help you realise who's really important to you, you know? Family. Family. So, Carl fucked off, and then there were other boys here and there, and then Simon. Differences? She's a better driver than me. She passed the test for us. I tried to take it and nearly crashed the car. <laughs> Learned that you can't rely on confidence to get you through everything. Mm, she is the shy one. She was especially shy around boys. If Hannah liked a boy, I would have to pursue him. It was that way with Carl. Hannah met him first. She had such a crush. I let him take my virginity after the night that his band had played at. It got difficult. When I was with Carl, we would have sex, but Hannah couldn't. Couldn't let him see she was a virgin. She had lots of excuses. After a while, we decided that I should take Hannah's virginity. It's not that different to a bruise, pulling a tooth, a graze. We used a hairbrush. After that, we took him in turns, though. I was always the one who seduced the boys. Until Simon. She actually did say that somebody asked, asked Simon out for her. Um, hang on. Like, it was one of the first things. Yes. I thought about telling Hannah I felt guilty after the kiss. But then it began to feel like this was the way it should be. Sharing, like we had before. He never mentioned her to me. There was the Simon with me and the Simon with her. It was almost like it was a different Simon. But, Kiss. After the kiss, the next time, he took me back to the house, to our parents' house, to their house. So, it was definitely him. <laughs> I sometimes think he wanted to get caught to prove to himself that we were different people. He told me about his marriage, told me how his wife was completely different. 